First of all, you want to know what other people do for using supercomputers. You want to learn from other people. And on the other hand, also, I want to show my gratitude for the continuous support by Praise Computer Time over many years. Uh, and um, my research heavily depends on this computer time. My research is a fundamental research. It's not applied research. So don't ask me the question what we can make use of this research in our everyday life. We want to understand the origins. We want to understand where you and myself come from, where the elements come from, which exist in our blood cells, which exist in our bodies, and which exist in the Earth. So one of the astrophysically crucial events here are massive star explosions, explosions of so-called supernovae, stars die in gigantic explosions in which the heavy elements, everything on our Earth exists of, are created and expelled into the circumstellar space. And we try to understand how these explosions work by doing big supercomputer simulations and uh, by studying the physical processes in very much detail by mathematics, solving mathematical equations. Well, you cannot bring a star to the laboratory. You can Maybe you can crash a car and understand how a car is uh, destroyed in a car crash, but you cannot bring a, a, a supernova, a stellar uh, a star, into the laboratory and explode it in the laboratory. The only way for us to do that is actually using supercomputer calculations and solving the mathematical equations which describe how a star dies. And even worse for us, not even observations can tell us how it works exactly because the physical processes which make the star explode go on in the very, very deep interior of the star, at the very center of a star, covered by solar masses of invisible and intransparent material. So we do not receive any radiation directly from that event. We have to really study the physics by doing supercomputer simulations took part in the foundation meetings of PRACE and even in the predecessor program I was uh, taking part in some meetings and I know how it was established and I knew about the uh, resources and the ideas which are behind this program for us researchers and therefore I was ready actually to use the advantage to apply for computer time when we needed it and when we wanted to do this big step uh, going to the third dimension in which we now explore these stellar explosions. As theorists, we are always uh, unlimited in our demands. So we want to go further. We want to understand even better uh, than we can now what is going on. We want to have more resolution. We want to explore more physics. We want to explore a larger number of possibilities. We depend on some conditions in the star which are not well understood, so we want to do that. So I, I hope that PRACE will provide more computer time in the future for doing better and for doing more simulations. And I hope, and that is my great dream, to work for the detailed prediction of uh, elementary particles coming from such a supernova explosion. And when this happens in our galaxy, we will be able to measure these particles and direct, get direct verification of our models from such a, uh, such a detection, such a measurement. That's the big dream, and price computer time will be essential to make the predictions, which only then can be tested by observations.